Hi, Julie here again. In part one, I showed you how to fill in the gaps in our background and expand the frame a little bit. Now, I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you how to soften off this backdrop because it's still a little bit on the messy side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control or Command on a Mac and J and that will give me a duplicate copy. Now you can use it as a smart object if you want to. So you can just convert to a smart object, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go into filter and I'm going to go into the blur gallery and just pick a Gaussian blur. Now 18 is actually probably not too bad. I might bring it back a little bit to say 15. I want it blurrier then I need and you can just use that little picker by going around actually no I might take it back up to 18 that was pretty good so I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to um, let it blur my image I'm then going to put a layer mask on and I'm going to invert that so control or command on a Mac and I and that changes it from white to black. Remember white reveals and black hides. So what I'm going to do now is with a big white brush, maybe not quite that big, and make sure that it is the hardness is all the way down. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to paint over that background. Um, and it can be quite loose, you don't have to stress about that. Now I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and go in a little bit closer. Now you can see what you've missed by just um, clicking Alt or Option um, on a Mac and you can go in then and paint directly on the layer mask for anything that you may have missed. Now if you've gone over areas that you don't really want to and I'll show you what I mean in a second so if I hit alt again I'm going to come back now if I zoom in here now some of these areas I've painted over and they've gone a little bit hazy so if I go back to black I can paint them in so that they're not hazy around the edges give us nice crisp edges boot, and the dress, and her hand especially here. And even her hair. Now just because we have done it as blurry as it is doesn't mean we need to keep it that way. So we can actually drop it back. So if you zoom in a little bit so we can see our background. So that's with no blur. You can see that there's a bit of a pattern there. And if we come in to about there, it disappears. So we still get the lovely folds in the cloth, which I'm quite happy to keep there but you don't get the actual texture in the material. Now what I actually want to do is I want to add a texture over the top of that. So I've gone back into, um, this is my atmosphere pack and I'll actually um, pop a link in there so you can go and download this sampler pack for yourself. Um, and I've just got a texture that I've grabbed in and put on the top. I'm just going to stretch it out because it's a texture over the top I'm not bothered by the fact that it's been stretched out a little bit I don't want that um, dark area up the top so I'm actually going to flip it and flip it again so that I've got the dark on this side then I'm going to change that over to soft light Mm, maybe overlay no I think I preferred soft light um, and 
if you want to um, change, take the color cast out of that, if you hit Control or Command and U, you can actually bring up your hue saturation. And if you take the saturation all the way down, that will leave your texture as a black and white. So it really only is giving the texture, not adding any color cast to your image. Now, you may not want that on your model. So if you put a layer mask, you can come in and you can paint it off. your model because you don't necessarily want the texture on her I'm just doing it a little bit rough But again, you can come in and you can drop the opacity on that. So perhaps you just want just a touch. You don't want too much. Now, the last thing I want to do on the original image, if I drop back down to here, there's actually um, a lighting effect in that. So I do want to enhance that a little bit. I'm going to put a new layer on and I'm going to come in and do a gradient. I am going to use a radial gradient and I'm going to use the colors that I've got here which is the black from the background and the teal from here okay so I'm then going to change that to screen mode and I'm going to drop the opacity a little bit and that gives a quite a nice little lighting feature in part three we'll look at adding some lookup tables and finishing touches to really bring this piece to life and don't forget to grab your copy of the atmosphere collection pack that's on the download link below thanks for watching bye for now